Alrighty guys, this is going to be the last video for the day one, uh, start of day two section of the river, upper valley you might say. Uh, this is at Super Shoot, but I'm just wanting to show you where you have to go from the road. So you see a barrier up here. This road is inaccessible, it's a private road, whereas up here is where you have to park. So that's as far as you can drive up to the barrier. Then you must walk down here, there's a little side, little side road here. And then we must walk down to the river's edge from here if you want to shoot super shoot uh, and then get access to the river. This is the last point on the river before Bells Rapids that you can access publicly by the river. You can get to Emu Falls of course but you have to park at a car park approximately two kilometers from the river and then walk down to the river. So this is really the last access for about 40 kilometers down the river uh, until you get to, well, Wayunga and then Bells, of course. So you can see it's a little bit of a walk. There's a, a giant lake that develops here when it's higher, higher water level. So we'll just we'll travel over these flat rocks and you'll see soon down in front of us is Super Chute itself. Now 0.7 level right now, uh, water level, is actually a very interesting and fun little chute here. Uh, Super Chute is one of these places that very low water, it's a little trickle and it's very easy. Very high water, it's completely gone, very easy. And then in the middle, it becomes this cool technical little switchback thingy with turns and a drop, which I think we're gonna see right now. Here we are at Super Shoot. Wow, it's pumping today. Remember this is a 360 degree video, you can turn it around in all directions. So, here we are at Super Shoot. This is really the first test of the valley. When you do a valley run, you'll shoot possils and usually just get a bit of a splash and then woken up. And then about 500 meters downstream, only half a K downstream, you'll get to here. You can see someone's painted some paintings on the wall there. I'm, I'm sure they're not Aboriginal authentic paintings. So. We come around the first corner, you'll, you'll come in, river, the river turns around to the right, river right from, from upstream. Come around the corner here, you'll be obviously on the far right bank of the river here. And you can cut the corner, but this is a place where you need to learn how to control your boat in eddies. Because you'll be cutting corners, and the river, if you notice the, the, the path of the river, the main flow is going straight ahead. Not coming around here, it's going this way, and then it gets pushed backwards around here. Because this is a dry area on the right. All the water comes through Super Shoot at the moment. It's only above two meters that the water starts to go elsewhere. So the entire river is funneling through this place here, but you do not want to be at the whim of the river here. You want to be controlling yourself. Uh, there's a few little obstacles I want to point out here. You'll come down the chute on the right. You'll cut left as soon as possible, but do not hit this dead tree and other trees in the water. Side on to trees is bad news. You want to be straight down to, to the flow of the river so that if you hit anything it'll push you past the thing and not wrap you around the thing. Sounds obvious but it's difficult when you're in the water. So, cut the corner here, come in on the left hand side of the corner of the left hand corner here, the upper chute. You'll see they're hidden right now but if I move the camera slightly you'll see there are some rocks in the way. Picked a bad spot there didn't I? You'll see, you'll see the rock here. Haha, <laughs> yes. There's a rock on the river right as you're coming around that that left hand channel that left hand turn above the super chute itself do not get washed to the outside to the river right because there are rocks here another big flat rock there are trees there are other things cut that corner as much as you can do not get eddied out difficult now the real chute we used to say let the water take you round and come around the outside that is no longer the correct way there is a rock on the outside many rocks on the outside the water pressure is not sufficient to push your boat around the corner. You must turn that corner yourself. Turn the corner, but do not cut the corner. Again, there's an eddy on the inside. There is a large amount of water pressure coming straight down the river, as you see on river left, this side of the river. The water on the river right side, well, this side, is pushing sideways. So we've got a very sideways uh, power, power pressure and then a straightwards power pressure. So you wanna be in between these two, which is right in the middle of the river. You can even hit that hole today, 0.7. You can hit that hole, turn the corner, make sure you don't get eddied out, and you'll stay in the middle of the river and be okay. In a little bit higher water, maybe 
you do not want to hit that hole because it's powerful, very powerful, and it can turn your boat very, very quickly. In point higher water level, you want to be in the middle around the outside. You'll see there is a wave that comes across almost all the way around the, uh, across the river here. You want to hit that wave at the upstream edge of that wave. So cut the first corner to the left, come around the outside, and then start cutting in and angle your boat such that you are almost facing downstream when you hit that wave. So turn early. Turn. You want to face this way downstream as soon as possible so that when you hit this water, you are facing parallel to it and it pushes you this way, doesn't spin you this way. The problem here is that you've got sidewards water, straightwards water, your boat needs to be positioned such that neither one spins you out. So if you turn too early, the front one spins you out. If you turn too late, the rear one, uh, the, the second one spins you out. So super shoot is very important to get correct at this water level. Teaches you boat control, teaches you there are two big waves, well two waves here. That outside wave is actually bigger than the inside wave. Looks uh, less scary. You should try and hit that inside wave. Miss this outside wave, you'll have a good time. If you hit that outside wave, you've got more chance of, uh, because as you see down here, you get very close to the rocks on the outside here, and then it does turn you back to the right-hand side, so you do not want to be coming back across the river, because you might then hit these rocks and get eddied out. The river is wide enough for myself in a small boat to do 360s here until the cows come home, but in longer skis or boats with rudders, doubles, you do not want to turn around here. It's not very wide. And uh, from here on, we are in the valley. So if we just have a look downstream, we'll see a little gravel run here. And then around the corner to the left, we've got uh, uh, stodgy porridge and uh, scared cat no. Stodgy porridge and um, something else morning related. I forget what Terry Boland named it. And then around the corner is Quarry Bend. So we're now, oh, and then the wall, or well, sorry, the wall first and then stodgy porridge and Quarry Bend. So we're, we're now into the real rapids. From here on, it's excitement, and then uh, a few pools, and then more excitement again. And then Emu Falls is only uh, seven, I think five kilometers from here, seven kilometers from Cobblers. Uh, and from here on in, yeah, we're into the rapids. So if you haven't got your spray deck or your, uh, your, your wave-related gear working by now, you'll start to get wet and possibly cold. So this is, as I say, the last access to the river for about 40 kilometers. So we're going to jump down the river now to the next spot you'll have to follow down on the helmet cams you can easily do that i'll link the videos below all of the uh difficult moments of the valley i'll link below and from here to bells you'll have to follow from the helmet cams and then from bells on we'll have a few more videos but that's all the hard stuff done so not many more videos in the uh hard stuff series of videos <laughs> okay guys i'll end it off here super shoot great fun uh don't get it wrong don't go to the outside. Water is not powerful today. This is 0.7. It will be lower for the race. Think 0.6. Rock at the top. Watch that rock at the top. Trees on the left. Don't spin out into them with your nose. You'll be going towards them with your nose. Start turning right. Start turning right. Don't turn too much right. But do cut this corner a little bit. Do not go to the outside. Big wave. Rocks on the far outside. Water pressure is not great enough to spin your boat around for you although it will spin you out if you get it wrong so don't rely on the water pressure be ready for the water pressure however okay guys i'll end it off here see ya